I love the name. You should be one over there, but I don't see it now. Things also go out of business all the time. several decades and most of the buildings, well I would say all of the buildings he commissioned were in the Gothic style mm -hmm. and he loved Gothic and in fact other parts of Europe, especially more to the south, had already started to move on a bit to the Renaissance. And this Oriole, oh my god, <laughs> this Oriole is incredible, it's one of the most beautiful examples of amazing. Okay. Yeah, I think that's yes. Below only say like a basement entrance. 
Well, it's actually usually go into the buildings, into the front, and then there's a stairway down. And in fact, and this building uh, is uh, it stands on the foundations of the Romanesque structure. And um, it was the building itself was added on to over several centuries. They were called the Hussite Wars, those were another religious war took place like in the early part of the 15th century. And most of these they are in the hotels It's amazing after all the regimes and religions and everything else that have weather and weather and there's a snow here. And this one has just been redone. You see, see, it's all, these are all recent, so you can imagine the whole place looked very different not long ago. And then another one that's the most recent one is this one over here, and that one is magnificent. But I tell you, if you had seen it, it's It's one of the oldest standing synagogues in Europe. And it's the oldest functioning synagogue. It has been functioning always. Non-stop. And then down at the end of that street is the Jewish cemetery, which is a fantastic place for you to take pictures. You see those uh, plain uh, glass windows across the top? Yes. That's the restaurant. Oh. And it's built right at the level of the roof line of all the...
she, um, when she trains those dogs, she's very tough. Acá. dates from the late part of the and then from the National Theater on down that's a gorgeous row of apartment buildings all from the 19th century century it's a sheet of ice uh -huh. or at least I never have uh, every year on his birthday or of the anniversary of his for the chain because the two towers here used to guard that Judith Bridge that was there before the Charles Bridge and they would put the chain across when they wouldn't let somebody pass oh, uh -huh. but they the 30 years war stopped this is before the Gothic times and so eventually somebody built like North Georgia marble or something yeah. and look <laughs> here over this entrance way you can see <laughs> Oh. They're called the Maltese Knights. Mm -hmm. The Knights of Malta. The Knights of Malta. The Malta. Yeah, they show a lot of in Amadeus. Walking through that or in Vienna, thing. I mean. Wow. I'm, I'm getting shots that I didn't get before. Yeah. Like I said, we're on Embassy Row here. Here's the Italian Embassy. Just missed the change into the guards or whatever. Dog got it. Government buildings. I know, but 
do we I know no like idea. the main thing or what? Oh, look at those soldiers. Did you get those soldiers? Yeah. I guess this was built in the cubism phase. A nice park by the palace here. Palaces. Here's a hotel, but it used to be a church. There's construction going on everywhere.